Today, I will discuss about how to calculate initial base curve of contact lens. First, let's know what is base curve of contact lens. The radius of curvature of back surface of contact lens is called base curve of contact lens. If this is a contact lens, this will be the front surface of this contact lens and this will be the back surface of the contact lens. If we draw a circle using the curvature of posterior surface of this lens, here it will be the center of the circle. And this distance between the center and the center of posterior surface of this contact lens is called radius of curvature which is called base curve. Now contact lens base curve is identified in relation to corneal base curve. Initial trial contact lens base curve in relation to corneal base curve is for soft contact lens, either base curve in millimeter equal to base curve of average K plus 1 mm or base curve in millimeter equal to base curve of flat K plus 0.8 mm. For RGB contact lens, base curve in millimeter equal to mostly base curve of flat K. So first, all we have to know how to identify base curve of cornea. Corneal base curve available in two forms. One dioptric value, that is power of the curvature, represented as k. Two millimeter value, that is radius of curvature, represented as r. Contact lens base curve is available as millimeter, so we have to identify corneal base curve in millimeter. The formula used to identify base curve of cornea is, when base curve is identified as dioptric power. Base curve in K equal to N2 minus N1 multiplied by 1000 divided by R. When base curve is identified as radius of curvature, base curve in MM equal to N2 minus N1 multiplied by 1000 divided by K. Here N1 equal to refractive index of the air that is 1. N2 is refractive index of the cardometer that is 1.3375 r equal to base curve in millimeter, k equal to base curve in dioptric power. If we place the value of n1 and n2, we find base curve equal to 1.3375 minus 1 multiplied by 1000 divided by k or base curve equal to 0.3375 multiplied by 1000 divided by k or base curve equal to 337.5 divided by k. So, without remembering N1 and N2, we can easily remember the formula to identify base curve in mm and k will be base curve in k equal to 337.5 divided by r or base curve in mm equal to 337.5 divided by k. Now, let's see some examples. If k1 is 43 diopter and k2 is 44 diopter, then what will be the initial base curve of the soft and RGB contact lens? Here horizontal meridian or K1 equal to 43 diopter, vertical meridian or K2 equal to 44 diopter. We already know that for soft contact lens, we can choose initial base curve either from average K or from flat K. Here average K equal to 43 plus 44 divided by 2 or 87 divided by 2 or 43.5 diopter and flat k equal to 43 diopter remember lower the power flatter it is as one meridian is 44 and another meridian is 43 so 43 will be flatter than 44 now for average k corneal curvature in mm will be base curve in mm equal to 337.5 divided by k or base curve in mm equal to 337.5 divided by 43.5 or base curve in mm equal to 7.75 mm. This 7.75 mm is the actual corneal curvature based on average K. So initial base curve of a soft trial contact lens will be base curve in mm equal to base curve of average K plus 1 or base curve in mm equal to 7.75 plus 1 or base curve in mm equal to 8.75 mm. If we want to identify 
initial base curve of soft trial contact lens from flat K, then corneal curvature in MM will be base curve in MM equal to 337.5 divided by flat K or base curve in MM equal to 337.5 divided by 43 or base curve in MM equal to 7.85 mm. This 7.85 mm is the corneal curvature based on flat K. So base curve of a soft trial contact lens will be base curve in mm equal to base curve of flat K plus 0.8 or base curve in mm equal to 7.85 plus 0.8 or base curve in mm equal to 8.65 mm. Finally, if we take average K, then the initial base curve of this trial contact lens is 8.75 mm and if we take flat K, the initial base curve of this trial contact lens is 8.65 mm. Now for the same example, let's see how to identify initial base curve of RGP trial contact lens. We already know that for RGP contact lens, we can choose initial base curve from flat K. Here flat K is 43 diopter. So for flat K corneal curvature in MM will be base curve in MM equal to 337.5 divided by K or base curve in MM equal to 337.5 divided by 43 or base curve in MM equal to 7.85 mm. So the initial base curve of RGB contact lens is 7.85 mm. Now let's see the effect of base curve in contact lens fitting. The effect of base curve is more significant in RGP lens than in soft contact lens. Because RGP lenses are rigid and create a gap in between the cornea and the contact lens if base curve is steeper or flatter. In this gap, tear accumulate and form a tear lens. When a tear lens is formed, the effective power of the RGP lens is changed. In steep fit, a convex tear lens is formed and in flat fit, a concave tear lens is formed. In steep fit, minus power of the contact lens is decreased and plus power of the contact lens is increased. In flat fit, minus power of the contact lens is increased and plus power of the contact lens is decreased. Let's see how a stiff fit formed a convex tear lens and how a flat fit formed a concave tear lens. In stiff fit, the periphery of the contact lens is attached with the periphery of cornea and there is a gap between central anterior surface of cornea and central posterior surface of the contact lens. In this gap, tear accumulate and a lens is formed which is called tear lens. As the contact lens is attached at the periphery and create a gap at the center, it forms a convex tear lens, precisely concave convex tear lens, where inner surface of the lens is concave, that is corneal side and outer surface is convex, that is in contact lens side. A convex tear lens will converge the rays that will decrease the power of minus trial contact lens and it will increase the power of plus trial contact lens. So in stiff fit, minus power of contact lens is decreased and plus power of contact lens is increased. In flat fit, the center of the contact lens is attached with the center of the cornea and there is a gap between the peripheral anterior surface of cornea and peripheral posterior surface of contact lens. In this gap, tear accumulate and lens is formed which is called tear lens. As the lens attached at center and create a gap in the periphery, it forms a concave tear lens, precisely convex to concave tear lens, where inner surface of the lens is concave that is in the corneal side and outer surface is convex that is in the contact lens side. A concave tear lens will diverse the rays that will increase the power of minus trial contact lens and it will decrease the power of plus trial contact lens. So in flat fit, minus power of contact lens is increased and plus power of contact lens is decreased. Remember, when a lens is not fit properly, it will create a tear lens 
and tear lengths change the effective power of the trial lens that we get in Uber refraction. Subscribe Smart Optometry for more videos like this. Stay with Smart Optometry and study optometry smartly.